contest. Graham in front. At the front now is Richardson. Gets past and then kicks quickly. Good mark. Excellent hands there, Brewer. Coming up for his third kick. Fourth possession. Short pass. Good mark taken there by Scott in front of Hassel. Uh, Robert Scott. You fancy this one, Don, because uh, we've seen him kick a lot of goals, but mainly on the run is he more reliable? And I was more impressed with the way he found that hole and led into it. It was a strong lead, well spotted. Well, certainly within scoring distance, Scott. Very deliberate. Run up, and then he hooks the kick, but it may have got through. I think it has. It's a goal. Second goal posted for the Cats, and they lead by 15 points. Robert Scott being picked up, as you can see there, by Hassel, to former Rovers. Scott plays most of his football now as a permanent forward. And was in scintillating form a couple of years ago. Represented Victoria and was a star in that game. Important cog in this Geelong wheel. 2-3, Geelong, great start. Hocking through the centre, Collingwood yet to score. Kelly collected, Hockey with a very good hip and shoulder. Williams to Watson, Watson off half back. Magpies needing one quickly. All on his own, Darcy. Threat to hand one to Wills. Plain tries to run him down. Wills gets good distance up to half four. Graham and Kelly, it goes to ground. A sweeping handball by Hassel at the mock horse. The big monkey sweeps it back to McGuan. McGuan stops, props, centers the ball okay to Williams. Had to take a bit of courage here. Williams is running back. He couldn't feel anyone coming at him. Goes out wide. Looks for Krasinski. Works hard for Sitzer. Takes the mark into Brown. Brown with a pop shot. Long ball. Rocket caught underneath. It won't be able to go. Sweeps it up like a good ruckman should. Oh, he's very athletic, that man there, Barnes. Terrific leap. Do you like Brewer? No two as he goes to Wills. Wills is doing pretty well too, Bruce, across that half-back line, and he takes the hand pass, and the ball now finishes with Couch. Couch's kick, beautiful. Gary Ablett lapped that up, a brilliant kick by Couch. He's sixth for the game already, and he gives Ablett the opportunity from uh, about 35 metres directly in front. He's got terrific skill today, showing them Couch, the way he can twist, turn, how he shrugged that tackle and still got away the pass. His passing's been a highlight. Ablett, straight through the centre, Geelong get their third. Yes, well, they're certainly leading Collingwood at the moment, the Cats. And the man instrumental is Couch, setting that up. To break the tackle. Here's the builder. By Cow, just in fine form. Look, gets away there. Left footer. Very well done. Exception. There's nothing that Gary Perk could do in that situation. So the bounce back in the centre. Pretty good one. Mock horse tries to get it down. But Hick Potter's there to tidy up for the Cats. Good pick up there at half back by Richardson, who's got a big job on Couch. Kicking towards the centre. The bounce a bit awkward for Gavin Brown. Never shirks an issue, but uh, gives it away to Riccardi. Oh, another Geelong goal coming up here. Hockey can handball over the top. Out comes Perth. Graham rides the bump. Goes into an open goal. Geelong get their fourth. Ben Graham, Scotty has already mentioned, one of the best kicks in the caper at the moment, this year, young man. And Geelong very, very easily proceed to 27, leading Collingwood get the score. Well, here I, an initial reaction was that Gary Pert had done the wrong thing, commit, done the wrong thing, committing a sin that you shouldn't do as a back man, and that is bump a forward on the forward line. Because what they do is can rebound off, as Graham did on that situation, and you cannot contain. A back man should always tackle. Well, danger now for Collingwood. Early days it might be, but it's one-way traffic. Hocking doing the job in the centre square. Hocking Brewer and uh, Couch have been killing uh, Collingwood. Here's Williams. Backward of centre. Not a good kick because there was no pressure in the end. Out very wide. And Houlihan is having his first run in AFL foot. He played in the Foster's Cup. Runs it out of play. Damien Houlihan, his first match today. 18 years of age. Eight goals last week in the reserves. Houlihan comes from Corowa, Rutherglen. Collingwood uh, just shading in the hit-outs. Monkhorst has been the number one man most of the year. Barnes up there with him, hocking brilliant to Barnes. 
Ritchie, Gary Hocking in touch. Kelly caught underneath Ablett in the centre, got rid of a half a dozen of them. Robert Scott of it sits up, surely it will for Scotty. Here it is. Oh! It's a goal. Put it down. Two to Scott and five to the Cats. Well, the right grin on his face there. He couldn't believe it. He nearly made a meal of it. He's going to come up on the third bounce, but he still couldn't control it. As we watch there, it's just getting out of the hands. What's he going to do? He still gets a foot to it before it goes over the line. But they all count. His second, Robert Scott. Four goals in five minutes for Geelong. It's 5-3, yet to score, and Gary Hocking having a birthday in the centre square. Well, Collingwood's kicking into the forward line has been lamentable so far in this quarter. Just down too, he's getting up, but also down is, is that Forsman. Geelong will uh, rebound. Stephen Hocking down towards the wing. Wills has got some space, unselfishly. Then affects a uh, Shepherd on Kerrison. Kick there by uh, Gary Hocking has been marked. Centre half forward by Graham. Geelong have thrown their side upside down pretty well. Adrian Hickmont, it's down. Sorry, Rob, I had to cut across you. It's Adrian Hickmont. Well, Graham, if he's a good kick, Scotty, he should get the distance oh, he'll here. Kick, he'll kick the distance. It's just a matter of accuracy. A lovely kick by Graham. Geelong have got their sixth. Two goals to Graham and two goals to Robert Scott. And on the other side of the ledger, Collingwood have not worried the scorers. And Geelong are making a change, as we can see there, Adrian Hickmont going off there. It was a clash between he and Krasiska there. And Krasiska was no, not too good either, as you can see. It was a clash maybe of heads. Let's hope he's all right. He seems, he seems to be all right. And Forsman warming up to come on for Geelong. As we'll have to wait until this stretcher is off the ground before play can resume. See again on replay, Krasiska coming in there. There you can see, clash of heads. Oh, they hurt too. So Hickbom coming off, Forsman coming on. Five goals to longest kick in the last six minutes to rip the heart out of this first quarter. Young Hickbom who made his debut in a final series. Malcolm Blight decided to blood him when it counted most. Off he goes today. Let's hope he can recover quickly. Forsman going on to the half-forward flank, being picked up by Watson. 6-3 Geelong. A sensational opening, to say the least. Barnes gets the tap. Buckley into the centre square, tries to get it away. Here's Colbert. Back to Pickering, who's been all right early. To Kenny Hinckley. Long ball. Ablett sets himself. Pert with him. Ablett stops. Pops. Pert all over the top of him. Now play Kelly. A handball that was pretty slow, but got to Watson. Watson streams away from half-back with two bounces. Then goes up towards half-forward. Barnes goes high. Dumps it away. And Geelong are floating on air at the moment. They can't do a thing wrong. Well, as soon as he takes a hit down in the centre, Barnes goes back to half-back. And he's giving a hand out across that half-forward line. Or half-back line. Certainly making it difficult for Collingwood. They're kicking also very ordinary. Hinkley. Well tackled there by Sanderson. Ball rebounds for Nathan Buckley. Tries to tap it to McCartney's advantage. Scott and Sanderson. Fraser in there. Underneath all that is Scott. Scott tries to get it clear in the finish. Well, it did get it clear, but uh, the umpire obviously feeling that a ball up was necessary. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Mickey McGuan in the middle of the picture there. What a recovery he's made from a knee injury he suffered at training a couple of weeks ago. He goes for the knockout. Fraser and Brewer. Ball comes back to Pickering. Tries to get the handball wide to McGrath. A little bit of space for that player. He's able to get it to Hinkley. Hinkley in towards the centre. The kick floating with the freeze. Colbert. Hand pass. Pickering. Off that left foot. In towards the forward pocket. The mark is taken by Gavin Brown. Who looks as though he's manned up on Gary Hockey. Gary Pert gets passed, but well tackled. Four rebounds for Ablett. Ablett hooks the kick too far. And it goes out on the full, so the free kick to be taken in that uh, right back pocket for Collingwood by Graham Wright. Collingwood.
Ford completely smothered by the Cats. Wright's kick in short. Mark is taken by Brown. So two of the playmakers opposed to one another. Brown and Hocking, the two men who tossed the coins today. Mickey McGowan at half-back. He's had a slow start, but you'd expect that. Kelly. He's gone. He's gone. Colbert did well. He didn't commit himself. He just stayed away. Kelly was forced to kick high. Barnes, free kick against Plain. Ex Essendon teammates. To Hinckley on the run. Hinckley's a lazy left footer, but accurate. And Colbert dives and takes the mark. Started on Buckley today, Colbert. At centre wing. Still only 18 years of age in his second season. Graham in the front spot. Moncos at the back. Riccardi uh, chopped off by McCartney, but McGrath gets onto it. Run down by McCartney. McGrath gets another go. This will be a goal if he kicks this. What an effort. Goes for it. Left foot from McGrath and puts it through. Whirlwind start by the Cats. Seven goals to nothing in the first quarter. 45 points to one. But don't go away, it's not all over yet. We pick up the second quarter at the opening bounce. Start of the second quarter at the MCG. Magnificent opening by Geelong. They were in tip-top form in that opening term. At one stage, they kicked five goals in six minutes. They lead seven through to a point. Barnes gets the first tap. Pickering, who was excellent early, sweeps a long handball to Forsman. Forsman breaks the tackle inside 50. This would be a dream start. Goes for goal. Footy. Eight three to a point. It's a sort of football that if they could keep going into September, they'd be challenging for the flag. And Forsman, who looked as if he was going off the ground with a severe injury at the end of the first quarter, kicks this goal. He came on and actually replaced Hickmon, who went off after a clash of heads. Playing across half forward is uh, Forsman. Siska, a loose man in the, in the Collingwood back line. Rocker still at centre half forward, but Hulahan still at full forward. Well, you'd have to be a madman to suggest that Collingwood can get back. Gary Hocking goes for another Geelong goal. Misses to the left and through for A behind. 8 4 plays a point. Now, that's something that I really have to work on, Collingwood, because he does that a little too often. Uh, Hocking as he comes out of the centre. So he and Barnes combining, it can be chopped off. to kick it back into play. Collingwood, we're into the second term and they're still to kick a goal. Hocking caught there by Fraser. Ball spills for Colbert. Collingwood trying to get the ball clear of that uh, crush of players. Nathan Buckley gets it to Richardson. Richardson with a little bit of urgency in his play. Kicks it high out towards the wing. Barnes behind playing. Gatherers by Fraser. Fraser runs down the wing, kicks in towards half forward, a very ordinary kick. Stephen Hocking hacks it out of mid-air. It's on the full, so the free kick for Collingwood to be taken out there by Bradley Plain. Bradley Plain, I was told before the game, had a serious hand injury, but uh, he looks as though he's recovered from that. He's kicking towards half forward, taken by Mansfield. Geelong get out of defence too easily. Collingwood forwards not working hard enough to keep that ball in. O'Reilly's kick. Short for Forsman. Gives it back to O'Reilly. O'Reilly is approaching the wing and kicks it beautifully off that left foot. Up towards half forward. Nearly taken by Kelly. Where's Rocker playing now? Oh, in the ruck. He's playing in the ruck. McCartney's come on at centre half forward and Mott Forst is off. Gee, Collingwood got some lots of changes made. Graham Wright now over the top. McCartney. 50 metres out. Took a little bit too long, but got the kick away. And yip, hooray! Collingwood have get a kick to goal. Well into the second term, Jason McCartney kicks Collingwood's first goal. But they trail by 45 points. Well, the coaches or the coaching panel box moves came off on that occasion because there he is, Rocker, now playing in the ruck, getting involved. And this man who just came off the bench, McCartney, started at centre-half forward, off the ground, now back on, first goal. Collingwood on the board as far as goals are concerned. They trail 8-4 to 1-1. Barnes gets a tap. Picker, uh, Colbert's high ball to half forward. Kelly was over the top, Gary Hocking. Oh, very well done to Brewer. Brewer's kick is a wobbly old one, little bounce. 
Pert, Ablett will run hard. Ablett has a go. Ablett kicks Noah's touch. Oh, he's a genius. Almost made something out of nothing there. His vision is extraordinary. 8-5 to 1-1. Pert in the box seat all the way, and Ablett able to almost get his foot to look at this. And again, Pert pushing it through. Kick in, taken by McCartney. Left foot kick by that player towards half forward. No cooperation between the Geelong defenders on that occasion, but they bash it clear towards the wing. Graham Wright, who's done pretty well. The way for Krasiska. Krasiska's kick goes down the wing, and eventually, some understanding, Williams has taken the mark. Short to Wright. Wright with his sixth possession coming up. Looking to lift the Magpies. A shocking first term. Kick in short has been marked by Brown. Brown 50 metres from goal. Collingwood 1-1, trail Geelong. Geelong are eight goals, five. Brown a high kick. Holds up into the breeze. Barnes gets back. Sanderson forces it for Plain. Plain takes it over for a rush behind to Collingwood. So, just behind's resulting there. When Collingwood could do with goals. Darcy kicks it in short. Mark taken by Hinkley. Had a big first term in uh, terms of possession. Hinkley's kick out towards centre wing. Lovely mark taken there by O'Reilly. Has really improved since coming to the Geelong side. Sweeps it. Sorry, Don. Sweeps it to Wills. Well, he's in trouble. Probably should have gone over the top to uh, Forsman originally. Got a free kick, couldn't he, Francisco? I just get the impression for us that umpires can be a little bit more consistent. If you try and break past the tackler and the tackler impedes you, it should be a free kick. I reckon you'll be gone. What about Gary Hopkins? It'll give their beauty to Brewer. Brewer at about 55 metres. Good looking kick to the goal square. Kelly to get back goes through from behind. Geelong up to 8 6. And Collingwood at 1 2. Collingwood needing two or three goals in a hurry just to get back into the game. But uh, it's been a tremendous performance so far by Geelong. They came off the bye from last week, one of seven teams that didn't play. Collingwood having a narrow defeat at Waverley Park. Long kick by Pert, a good one. Gets to Brown, he's going to get touches, 50 metres against Hocking. And uh, Gary gave Gavin a little bit extra there. Oh, he's a great competitor, Gary Hocking. You've got to take your hat off to him. He's given away 50 metres here. Not all that much argument from uh, Gary Hocking, but Brown now up near the left-hand point of the square. But still probably two kicks from goal for the Magpies. Pretty well standing start. He kicks it high in towards full forward. At the back, Hurlihan should kick a goal. Oh, dear. Has he kicked it? I think he has. It's a goal. It looked off the boot as though he'd made a meal of it, but Damien Hurlihan in what would be his first kick in senior day to day games of AFL football has kicked a goal. Well, here's Brown putting it out, hoping. Brad Rowe in front fly, comes to ground. There's Houlihan, as I said earlier, kicked eight goals last week in the reserves. Very broad shouldered youngster. Barnes left early, 
and seemed to stay there. Then got the hand pass away. Mansfield, a high kick by that player, just off the side of his boot. But a great leap by young Graham. Promising player. Oh, he is an impressionable youngster. And looks a tall boy too, Don. Over six foot four by the look of him in the old terms. A lovely long left foot kick towards full forward already. Collingwood's back line under pressure. In comes Forsman, gets the hand pass. Gary Hocking steadies and kicks the goal. So whatever Collingwood do, Geelong seem to have the answers. The Cats have come on a mission to the MCG on Mother's Day. They lead 9-6 to 2-3. Well, Gary Hocking resting in the forward pocket. That is another mammoth kick by that young fellow, Graham. Forsman, who came off interchange, getting involved just there. Nobody around Hocking. An easy goal. the centre square, Geelong stretch it again, a 45 point lead, 9-6 to 2-3, Brad Plain swings onto the left foot a centering kick, Houlihan on a long lead, tries to half volley it, pushed out of the way, Wills who was very good in the first turn, Coleman running onto it, now there's a chance he would create something here with Riccardi, he does but he's on his wrong side, stops and props, centres the ball, gets it across to Pickering, he was very good early Pickering chips, not a good kick, Brown will take the mark Quite spectacularly in the end because Scott came underneath. Pert swings a long handball out to Buckley. Collingwood has lifted his momentum. Buckley's long left foot are not good. And he's made a couple of errors, Buckley. Missed the goal. I know it was 50 metres out, but it would have made a difference. And then that one, out of bounds on the fall. So Nathan Buckley looking to lift his team, as is uh, quite a few of their more experienced players. Amongst them is this man, Gavin Krasiska. He's marked at half forward. He kicks in towards full forward. Hulan punched away by Darcy. Away goes Wills. Hulan chases him down. Wills gets the handball. Back to O'Reilly. It's in front of the Collingwood goal. Important possession here. Brad Rowe quickly onto his boot. Gets the goal. Terrific stuff, Maggies. Brad Rowe kicks his first goal. And importantly for Collingwood, they hit back to hang in. 9-6 Geelong. 3-3 three, three, the Maggies. Well, it was good play initially. I was just waiting how, how long it would take for O'Reilly uh, to spot Darcy. It wasn't a good hand pass, but the idea was right. It was good harassment by Collingwood. Darcy turns the ball over and rode the opportunist. Collingwood's kicked three of the last four goals. They trail 9-6-3-3. Three, three. Next couple of goals, you'd say, vital. If the Maggie's getting it, they're back in business. Scott has it smothered off the boot. Pickering's in there. So is Gavin Brown, who's uh, on hockey now and playing very well. She Six. was good in that contest because it was important that they not allow Geelong to clear from the centre. And Gavin Brown uh, dips him a lid. Well, he talks about Hocking being competitive, so is Brown. They're two of the great competitors in the game. Oh, Rocker thumps it. Worth a kick. Mansfield lost the footy in the end. Darcy puts Mansfield under a bit of pressure, shows some skill. Back to Darcy, back to Mansfield. That was glorious footy. Mansfield's kicked towards the 50. Kelly's in the box seat. Couldn't take the mark. Couch stops, weaves. Scott rides a bump beautifully. Handles over the top, right with Riccardi. Riccardi goes backward. Couch goes for goal, and look at that for footy. Teamwork at his best. It was outstanding. A few mums in particular are enjoying the football tonight. We're in the second quarter at the MCG, eight minutes remaining in the second term, and at this stage, uh, Geelong have added a point, Collingwood have added one goal, four, and the Cats' lead is 36 points. Fires are James Van Beek, Chris Mitchell and Hayden Kennedy. Now, yeah, Bradley Plains by himself. Wills is going back to pick him up now. Barnes missed it completely. Gary Hockey collected the footy. Kicked it towards full forward. Safety first. Gary Pert punches. Wide towards the wing. The race is on now between Riccardi and Wright. Wright tries to make it for himself. Colbert in. Handball. Couch. Back to Riccardi. Good running by that player. He's kicking towards half forward. Broken down because Kelly has taken a good mark. He's going to transfer play. A bit risky. Comes to the near side, which is the member side. Rocker looking for someone to handball to. He's got that player. Richardson back to Rocker. Rocker lumbering it right half back. Kicks in towards half forward. Krasiska nearly clean bowls him. He looks injured. Oh, he's he's coming off the ground. 
very quickly there. Krasiska coming off, but no player stripped yet. And it will be Kerrison maybe to come back on. Barnes jumps high, gets it down to Brewer, and the Cats are away. Brewer off the side of the boot. And Scott makes it. Funny a moment ago, Robbo. Tony Shaw was up. I've never seen a break up quicker off the interchange to try and get on the ground. Couldn't quite get there. Kerrison's coming on. Front spot there by Mitch, who's come onto the ground for Geelong. Colbert threw it, it looked like, in the end. Trying to break his way through there was Sanderson. He's caught left, right and centre. And Barnes now coming off for Geelong. And coming on for him is Ben Graham. So... And here's Krasiska doing what we believe could be the hammy. Pulled up very suddenly. Feel the pain from here, couldn't you? Pickering. Free kick against uh, Geelong and 50 metres against the Cats. So Buckley with a big break here. Again, a little fortunate to get the free kick in the first place, I thought, Nathan Buckley. Gee, it hurts when you get 50. And look, he's with it. That's a long 50. Oh, look at that. It's gone from uh, 150 to the other 50. Well, if he kicks this, it'll be a big turnaround. Geelong attacking at centre-half forward a moment ago. Ticky touch with free kick. Buckley has a shot for go. Goes bang and misses again. Playing. Does he take it? Over the line, isn't it? Should Second be. grab throwing. So Buckley a bit wide on a couple of occasions, pushing both to the right. A little fade on both. Mitch is coming up from the forward pocket for Geelong. He'll go to centre half forward. Abbott going back to full forward. McCartney taking the ball out of the boundary throw in. Snapshot missed. So Collingwood proceed to 4-8 but they still trail by 35 points. The Cats are 10-7. Darcy looking for someone to kick it to. It's a little risky, these short passes, I feel, but this one comes off, and he finds Pickering close to centre-half back. The players are so... Well, I know, they're so good at their foot passing now, they can spot anyone you know, 10 yards away and hit him true. Well, very, very good. That is an advantage because Geelong have got the ball down near centre wing. Richardson... Fairly ordinary kick, I would have thought, Alan Richardson, but uh, as Bruce has mentioned earlier in the call, has been troubled a little bit with injury this season. He's a very uh, talented player and finished in the place getters in the uh, Collingwood Best and Ferris last year. And Robert Dippy domenico has got a boundary line report. So, unfortunately, I'm very disappointed. Krasiska, uh, he's got a very bad uh, hamstring injury. Thanks, Dippy. It's a hamstring for Krasiska. Here's Couch. Good vision. Stephen Hocking takes a chance, gets around a bit easy in the end, thumps it towards Ablett, Perk's done a great job, but that's a fair oh, oh, oh. I thought he was going to mark it. Ablett laying back on Perk. Perk all over him. Is this a con job? You can see there the hands of Perk. He nearly took it anyway, Gary Ablett, as he was going to ground. But a little Scotty, high. Was that a free kick to Ablett? Yes, it was a free kick. I tell you what, he's going to get away with a lot of those. If he backs back into the player, what is the player supposed to do? Abbott from 35 metres out kicks his second goal. Oh, that'll hurt Collingwood at this stage because they've done a pretty good job in this quarter, the Maggies. It's 11 7 to 4 8. Frank Kelly had something to say to Gary Abbott as he walked by. Not be able to pick that up, it was after the kick. Abbott's second goal. Here he is, just after he made contact. Ray Kelly, oh, just, but did have something to say. Well, Collingwood have kicked four seven in the second term, but Geelong have answered with four goals four. So they've opened their advantage by an extra three points. We're pretty close to siren time here in the uh, second quarter of this big clash between the Cats and the Magpies in front of a fairly good crowd. Handball there by uh, Colbert. Now Brewer gets it to Forsman. Forsman's short pass is very good. Mench. Mench is 50 metres out. Couch suggesting that he could settle and maybe have a shot for goal. Couch, one of the more experienced campaigners from Cadinia Park. 13 possessions. He's kicked a goal. Now, David Minch. What a good kick. Distance, easy goal. And 
and he didn't get onto that. You don't think so? No. no. And where's it going to finish when he gets onto it? I was just going to say, if he really did get onto that, it'd just keep on going. Because there's a mongrel kick off the boot. Look, it doesn't float truly through the air. What a magnificent kick. It's gone 50 plus and he hasn't got onto it. Not sure if you're agreeing with Scotty or no, I'm not. I think that's a terrific kick. 12-7 to 4-8. Take the tongue out of your cheek, Robbo. Here goes Hocking, a good one to Wills. Wills with a high one. Geelong finishing off the second quarter like they started the match. And Mitch now giving them some trouble. So Kelly had trouble with Graham early and he's had trouble with Mitch now. High ball, Abner will take this. And he'll probably go back and bang through his third. In actual fact, he's not much closer to goal than what Mensch is, but Mensch has gone out to the right off of his left and swung the ball back over his left shoulder. And Applett may be 10 metres closer to goal. Well, he's been the leading goal kicker at the club six times. He won the Coleman medal last year. And Applett goes for it and has put it through. by 53 points at half-time. What an exhibition. And we rejoin it early in the third quarter. No addition to the score. So Collingwood attacking. As Robbo said, they need four in a row without a reply to get themselves back in with any hope at all. Williams is handball. Brewer breaks away. Couch, who was magnificent in the first quarter. When it counted, he did the business. Centering kick, not good. Moncourt should take it, and he does. Back. Well, not often you see Paul Couch deliver the ball like that to uh, the opposition directly. And Rockhorst has the chance now to put Collingwood into attack. Dropped by Perth. Ailey oh. uh, missed his target, which was McGuan by Meyer. Now the turnover, costly for Collingwood. Ablett, a high kick. Try to set it up a little bit. Scott, grabbed by Hassel. Keras at a good bump. Gets the hand pass in towards the centre-half back position, taken by Wright. Finds some space for himself, Graham Wright. And looking to give it off. No one to give it to. He's going to eventually kick it in towards the centre. McGuan, a long kick to a vacant centre-half forward position. Good mark. Eyes only for the football and good hands, Craig Kelly. You can nearly kick the goal, Craig. So go back and give your side a chance. Kelly is, uh, well, he'll kick probably from about 50 metres to leave himself a little bit of space. McGrath is about 45 metres, and he is the man on the mark. Collingwood 4-10, trail Geelong 13-9. Kelly goes for goal, doesn't get the distance, and it's helped over for a rush behind to Collingwood. And on my ledger, that's about the sixth behind that Collingwood have scored from contest close to the goal line. On the lead at half back. It has Pickering running for him. Goes short. Stephen Hawking. He's played 182 games, Stephen Hawking. A quiet achiever to centre wing. Forsman takes the mark. Came on when Hickmont was injured in the first quarter. Good kick. Graham really should have taken that. Kicked a couple of goals in the opening quarter. McCartney. He kicked Collingwood's first goal today in the second term. Shaw to Brown to McCartney. Collingwood trying to build up some system. They're playing without confidence. Hickley through the centre. Goes long. Ablett sets himself with Pert. Gets rid of Pert and takes the mark with strength. <laughs> well, look, Cameron said everything on that occasion. Ablett in front. Was turned around. Pushed him out. At the critical time. Pert off balance. It was aided by that push. was a lot different to what happened at Football Park with a minute ago on Tuesday night. It was rather arrogant, wasn't it, by Gary? He's kicked three. He's kicked magnificently today. That's four. Dare I say, Don Scott, I don't think he's at the peak of his uh, prowess today in terms of his athleticism. I reckon he's... Uh, just not 100% in terms of his movement, but he's just made the most of his opportunity. Well, I, actually, I was thinking that earlier in the game when Geelong were just barnstorming the goal that once Ablett and the other forwards on that full forward line start to, to fire it, you matter of how far the work's been done further up the ground, and that's where the goals have been coming. Well, so he has 50 
his four. It's not a bad effort from six kicks. He's kicked four. But uh, I was going to say to push Gary Perth, who's got a bit of upper body strength, just off the football and get his fourth goal. Brown kicks towards half forward. Chance for Williams. Inside 50. Must kick this. And he has. So Paul Williams kicks his first goal. Collingwood would get their fifth, but they still trail by 52 points. And the strength of Craig Kelly here was responsible for bringing this ball to ground. He and McGrath fighting there. And there he is. Causing a bit of a path, Kelly, for Williams to run into. And Williams, who can be brilliant, goes in and out of the game. Well, would you give Collingwood any chance, Tom? Well, I wouldn't. Oh, it's getting a little bit far into the game. Had this been, I thought I gave them a chance at quarter time because I didn't think they could play any worse than what they were doing. McGuan couldn't get past. Gavin Brown tries hard and kicks it in towards half forward. Punch by McGrath on Kelly. Bradley Plain tries to take it. Mansfield running into trouble but shrugs a couple of tackles and then gets the ball to Darcy and the caps are away. Hinkley just uh, slipped at the wrong moment, got a kick away. Brown's handball, right tackle, very well by Pickering. Fours Brown's the tackle on him, OK. Scott squares at the wheels. Wheels is a good player in the first half. Goes wide. Pert Navlet on a chase. Pert fell over. Gary gives away a free kick. He's got to come back. Not sure what for. Trip. Indicating a trip. Let's have a look. Didn't he yet? Alan Richardson. You'll be kind, Bruce. <laughs> I do like watching him play. Much in that at all. I think it was just a tangle of legs. Barnes. Back to Gary Hawking. Keeps his eye on it. Pert does well. Kerrison. Still, Kerrison Couch has got him. Play on called. Scooped up by Pert. Hassel. They're in trouble. Hassel throws it away. Gets it to McCartney to Shaw. Gee, Tony Shaw must love at least being out there, even though they're 10 goals behind. The big monkey's got hold of it. Moncourt sweeps it inside to Richardson. Richardson goes short again. Plain's got the football. Just forward of the centre. Must do something with this kick. Goes in the hand direction, but chipping in Mansfield. Gary, Stephen Hocking, oh. Brewer, and on the end of it, Colbert. And Geelong get out of trouble too easily again. Probably would have been able to get up into their forward line. Poor kick by Tony Shaw. Turnover here. Pickering. In goes Richardson to make it good. Gavin Brown to Tony Shaw. And then away to Williams, who's got a bit of pace. Short kick. And not taken by Rocker. Good play by O'Reilly. And he forces it over for a boundary throw. Well, just nothing going on this way at the moment. Swanger getting numbers at the ball, and that's a sign of confidence. 40 metres from the Collingwood goal. Desperately need to kick two or three quick goals. Rocker off the ground. Taken by O'Reilly. Gets it to Darcy. A free kick. Collingwood's free kick. A throw. Mick McGuan appealing. The players are a little befuddled with that decision. But this is it. Deliberate. 
Yes, Rocker kicked 20 goals in the first four matches this year, and he didn't kick one at Paverley Park against Melbourne, and he's missed out so far today. Had a great start to the year. Still only a youngster. Has a big future and a very good strike rate. Barnes tries to thump it back out of bounds. Watson's left foot, great goal. A beauty. Well, Robbo, you said they needed four, but Geelong got the first, and now Collingwood have got the next three. Just to get a bit of momentum, isn't it? And Watson starting at half back, has gone down the forward line. He doesn't look particularly fit, Watson. He was suffering mild potential fever. Gee, that was a goal, though, wasn't it? That was an excellent goal. There he is on screen. Look at Collingwood as a four. And we a big ask. Young youngster to play four of the four. But he's better play with Victorian side. So the best is up. 14 got to seven. Collingwood make a switch. The take down is Edna Richard to one. McGuan should be this. Vicky McGuan get pulled off his kick at the last second. And a result. The runs get too many then, maybe. Seven, 12 plays, 14 up to 49 points. Back 
course to go against Barnes. Blaine as Collingwood sets forward again. Mansfield missed it. Kelly. Round sweeps it out wide. Can Fraser take it cleanly? Taps it on. Williams kicks his third. Or does he? He hits the post. Oh, you can crawl. Oh, he should have kicked that. Really should have eaten up, shouldn't he? Terrific football by Collingwood to get the ball down there so quickly from the centre bounce. Well, they're playing a brand of football that Geelong played for the first half. O'Reilly short to Hinkley. Hinkley back to O'Reilly. We should see in the next couple of minutes if Geelong is in fact rattled or whether Collingwood's playing quite brilliantly. Because when the Cats get the footy, they still should be able to do something with it. Kerrison, Couch has been quiet since the first quarter in a bit. Riccardi, well done. Kerrison probably could have given a hand pass away there and uh, under pressure the kick fell short. Riccardi's kick, it goes in towards the centre. Pickering, Collingwood must stand up. The onslaught being uh, enforced there now by Geelong. Well done by Pert. Goes after it, but Hassel with pace. This gather outside 50. Goes down the ground. Good hand for Buckley. Buckley with one bounce. Can go all the way. Nathan Buckley, no one home there. Kelly's on his own. Can run in and kick a goal. Kelly kicks to the square. Punched up by O'Reilly. Over for a rush behind the Collingwood. Which now numbers seven. They certainly do kick the ball long, Collingwood. There's only a couple of players involved in that movement from the full back line. They run it, they kick it long, and they don't overhand ball. In fact, they probably have fewer possessions than any other side in the competition. Barnes gets hold of it from O'Reilly. Short. Pickering at half back. A couple of bounces. He's uh, hugging the boundary line. Kick towards Mitch. McCartney with him, Shaw lets it run over and out of play. So it's half time, and remember that Geelong kicked the goal in the uh, first bit of the last of this quarter, within a minute of the quarter starting, and it's been five goals four to Collingwood and one goal two to Geelong. Five unanswered goals by Collingwood. Hockey punches forward. Richardson out of play. So the score at the MCG in the big Mother's Day match. Geelong lead Collingwood 14-11 to 9-14. 27 point advantage for Geelong. Still Collingwood have to get goals on the scoreboard. Minch has got it. Handball wide. Riccardi, good effort. Richardson down goes Riccardi and Richardson too high. And the Collingwood player will receive the free kick. Good going towards the centre. McCartney appeals for it, but he goes down the wing. And Moncrost, who's been good in this third quarter as well, takes the mark. Damien Moncrost, three kicks, seven handballs, ten hitouts, goes in towards the centre. This time McCartney receives, gives it to Brown. Brown in the centre, go long, and he does, in the direction of the goal. Watson at the back, punched away. Ball at the ground, O'Reilly's handball, out into the path of Mansfield. He may let it go over, he does. But a boundary throw in about 40 metres around from the Collingwood goal. They need another goal here. We've still got time for plenty of scoring, four and a half minutes. Ruck contest, Montforce takes it. Can he get his foot to it? He does. But only as far as O'Reilly, he marks. Only five or seven metres from the behind post is Stephen O'Reilly, the key cat defender. Deep in defence, isn't he? High ball, gets it outside the 50 for Geelong. Barnes tries to knock it over the top. Tony Shaw, what a quarter he's played. Mickey McGuire goes to ground. Four Copelands between those fellows. Buckley back to McGuire, half volley, brilliant by Mickey. A bounce, don't tell me again, Ron, oh, he's going to do that one. Left foot goes for goal. He's given it a hook. Kelly's in the box, simply takes it. He's done a right Kelly out forward. What about the look on McGuire's face when he took possession? That's the determined look that Collingwood should have shown right from the first bounce. Great stuff, Mick. Kelly, well, he comes from South Australia. This should be easy. Check side. Goes back and gets it. Oh, gone, Scott. They're back in town. Well, he's certainly given them a little bit of strength up forward. On that occasion, it was Lex marking by Geelong. Kelly to take this mark, but there again, Tony Shaw involved. Good effort because look, McGuan was down on the ground. He gets up again. There's a second effort for McGuan. It's good to see him back after that injury. 
onto the left foot, puts it high, but look at the lax marking here. Kelly getting away, because that is not Brown's man. McGrath is Kelly's man. Well, now, this will test both sides. Barnes and Brown, contest in the centre. Forced forward by McGuan. Play held, didn't have it. Play goes on. Williams, it was an advantage play. Williams! What a kick by Paul Williams! Oh, that is a magnificent goal. That's his third. And ladies and gentlemen, a game of football. 15 points is the advantage for Geelong. As I said earlier, this man here coming in to kick his third goal for the quarter. Williams can be brilliant. But he can also go missing, but he has certainly been on fire the third quarter. His third goal for the quarter, Paul Williams. Crowd roaring now, and why not? 14, 11, 11, 14. The big monkey gets the tap out of the centre mob course. Brewer, what can Geelong find? Couch, Brewer through the centre. Well played, Brewer. A wobbly old one, a difficult one. Ablett goes for it. Ablett's left foot, it's rolling. It's so over from the home. 14, 12 to 11, 14. There's been a criticism of Geelong. It's been just this: that when the pressure's really been applied, they haven't been able to stand the challenge. Well, the challenge has come from nowhere here. In the third quarter, where Collingwood has kicked seven unanswered goals after Abbott kicked the first. So, can the catch stand up now? Pert goes short. Long course. Back to Brown. Seen one remarkable comeback today in league footy. This might be another. The kick by Brown up towards the 60 metres and the mark taken by Mansfield. Defending. Well, Geelong suddenly have gone from millionaires to paupers as they're trying to hang on. Mitch gets it at centre wing. Mitch kicks quickly up towards the 50 metre line. Very important again, as most possessions have been, particularly for Collingwood in this third term. They trail 14 to 13 which is 53 points at half time and now they've pulled it back to within 15 points 16 points with three quarter time imminent they were 90... 58 points behind Robbo in this quarter 58 they travel 96 plays 80 Scott gets a left foot to it and kicks it close to the line Gary Hockey well done Hassel back goes right Ablett what can he manufacture Gary kicks it across the face of goal. It bounces away from Wills. Took his eye off it just momentarily, then snapped for goal. Oh. It. Great goal, Wills. Well, he's been wanting to do that all day. There he is. Andrew Wills is started in the back. Back line. He kicked two points this stage in the second quarter where he's running off his man Bradley Plain now playing down on the forward line that is a great snap over the right shoulder beating everybody so the bounce in the centre, Barnes taken away by McGuan, he's kicked towards half forward Kelly's given them something in that position, a quick kick by Craig Kelly up towards the forward pocket Rocker, handball, looking for Houlihan Darcy under pressure Knocks it close to the man line and goes over. And well done, Tim Darcy. Interesting interpretation. Oh, it were deliberately last tried year, to last force year a that point would have been pinged. And it went out of bounds. You'd say he tried to force a point. But well, I thought he was going for the points. But still, I think he went for the boundary line. Well, look deliberate. Here's Mock Horse and Barnes. Barnes, big flight. McGrath, Hullahan in the pocket. Left foot. Good look. Back by the Pies, they kicked eight goals to two in that quarter to get right back in the game. We rejoin it early in the last quarter, and at this stage, the Cats by 18 points. Now Collingwood trail by exactly three goals. Gary Perth kicks in short to the members' side. Hassel handballs further. Buckley needs to get ten possessions in the last term if Collingwood are to have a chance here. Nearly taken by Williams, it will be. Well done by Williams, close to the boundary line. Taken away by Steve Hockey. 
McGrath has the football close to the line. Bradley Plain comes in, gets back onto the right, slips over. Kick went nowhere on the full in the finish. Free kick to Colbert. Well, how stiff do you have to be there? Bradley Plain trying to make the play eventually gives away a free kick. Colbert will take it. Well, both McGrath and uh, Hocking have got big jobs in this last quarter. McGrath and Kelly, who was very good in the third, and Williams kicked three, and he's been picked up by Stephen Hocking. Mansfield takes the mark at centre wing. Kerrison did the job on Couch in the third quarter. Shaw doing the job on Hocking. That's Gary. Now Mansfield from centre wing. Geelong 18 points in front. Plenty of leads coming, but he's a little undecided, Mansfield, as to what to do. Couch wanted it very short in the end. He goes to centre half forward. Moncourse in the box seat. Good mark by the big fellow. He was good in the third quarter. It was one of the reasons that Collingwood dominated the centre square. Moncourse chips away for Kelly. Good mark. What a transformation at half time. A lot of people had him written off. Retired and he came back with a vengeance. Wright goes for a run. Four bounces. Remembering that he kicked the goal like this in the second quarter. Five bounces. Centering kick. Big ball to be won here. Geelong go at the back with the thumb away. A bouncing ball. Riccardi the tackle. Very good by Richardson. Brown couldn't break the tackle. Watson back to Hullahan. Hullahan kick. Well, he hasn't kicked the goal that time. With his first three kicks in the first three quarters, he kicked three goals. Hickley's wobbly old one, Gary Hocking. Gary Hocking close to the boundary line at right half back. Kicks Geelong back near the wing. Wills up high. Must give away a free kick. Sure, sure really wasn't going for the ball. He tried to upturn him. Well, the ball now 50 metres from the Collingwood goal. Punched away by McGrath. And I'd like to know what your definition is. If a man jumps early, well, goes no this. idea of taking the mark. No idea, Andrew Wills. And surely it's a free kick to the Collingwood player. Here's Collingwood again through McGuan. Tries to force it clear. Brown it is now for Geelong. Kicks it back near the wing. Buckley. Makes a contest of it with Colbert. In comes Couch. Tries to get the handball to his teammate. Eventually, a slick little ball. Riccardi. Wills is going to get caught. Ball spills for Bradley Plain. Oh, he's Tries to get past. Grab too high. And Couch, that's not a bad free kick to give away. Plain would have got closer. A lot closer. And Couch not happy with Wills there. You can see him telling him something. Bradley Plain, 14 possessions. Yet to kick a goal. He kicks it inside 50 metres. No one could take the mark. Gary Hocking court. Gets the handball away. Brewer. Gives it to Mansfield. In turn, McGrath. Nearly run down by Kelly, but got his kick away. Up towards half forward for the Cats. Good contest between McCartney and Minch. McCartney does well and holds it in. Minch a little disappointed. The umpire will bounce Watson. at centre half forward for Geelong. Watson coming off for Collingwood and about to come on is Brad Rowe. Watson started down back is up forward. First goal vital here. Wills from centre half forward to the goal square. Ablett and Pert. Ablett still there. He's got Scott to help him. Ablett tries something out of the box. Really probably should have handled to Scott. And it's a behind. 15, 15, 12, 14. Ablett with four goals. A couple of misses today. And this first goal will tell a tale, won't it? If Geelong get it, you'd think it would be enough. If Cox, sorry, go on, not and Geelong playing, uh, Bruce, uh, man to man. They're not ringing, they haven't got the outriders, and hence Collingwood have got to wait on two occasions now, very easily from that full back line. Long course this time. Yes, and if Collingwood get the first goal, then watch out. It'll be back to about even money. Colbert takes it from Pickering. Ablett, has got it. What better man to give it to in this situation? Yeah, I think Damien Moncourt's decision to go short was a, uh, a questionable one. In this position today, Ablett hasn't missed. He's kicked four goals. He's missed a couple of others, but they've been under pressure. But from a set shot, he's been immaculate today. And this would give Geelong a terrific lead. Over four goals and he kicks it. Back he goes. It's close. He's got it. To Ablett, and the Cats get that all important first one 16 15 to 12 14. Well, here's this kick that Ian said was a little doubtful where they should have gone short, but Geelong again got the numbers around. Pickering getting involved, so is Colbert, and that is a good pass. There's nothing Perth could have done in that situation. Five goals to Gary Ablett. 
Leading goal scorer on the ground. Good bounce. Taken away by Pickering. His quick kick. Mark taken by McCartney. McCartney is at right half back. May decide he does to transfer play to the opposite side of the ground. Graham Wright, a little bit of space, and bounce his way down to nearly half forward, and then kicks in short. The mark is taken by Rowe in front of Brown. Must move it quickly. They need over four goals now to win the game. He kicks it high in towards full forward. Big pack of players. Mockhorse down to McGuan. McGuan! Scrounges a kick out of that left forward pocket, goes across the face. And Mick with a hand gesture there to say, well, not much I could do except bomb away. And nothing happening for the Magpies. 12-14 to 16-15, the difference 25 points now in favour of Geelong. Mockhorse takes it out of the air, can't get his foot to it. Brad Rowe gets the handball away. Bradley Plain. Bradley Plain, you've done it, son. You've kicked the goal. Geelong by 19 points at the MCG. Collingwood playing, getting his first. He's had 16 touches today in his 50th. Shaw, McGuan. Shaw earned a free kick. McGuan takes advantage of it. High ball, Kelly underneath it. Good mark by Kelly. He's done well since half-time. I think he's played a fair game, actually, by Kelly. A very good game at centre-half forward. And McGrath caught out there. Now, he's not the best kick for goal from here, Kelly, in the world, but things are happening for Collingwood. They've got the scoring in. The big dipper told us that the breeze had blown up a bit. The flags have just started to abate. But if anything, Collingwood has still got that scoring in. And for Kelly, he's going to kick from well inside 50. Up he comes. Gives it a hook. Doesn't quite make the distance. Still in play. Danger. Rocker gets it back. Rowe can't quite. Williams, great mark. Did it go the necessary? Yes, no. I think it has. Oh, rubbish. Couldn't have. Could not have. It's gone eight metres. Rowe was inside the 10 when he kicked it, wasn't it? Yes. Well, Williams kicked three goals in the third quarter onslaught. Tucked away in the pocket. It's coming across, and he'll certainly go to the left. This to bring Collingwood. It's coming out each time. Play on. Within 13 points. It looks pretty good. Missed. Yeah. Behind. Well, what do you reckon, Don? Have a look at this. How far do you reckon this travel? Rose deep in the square. It's gone about seven metres. <laughs> Tops. Well, we've got under 12 minutes left, and the difference is exactly three goals. O'Reilly goes to the far side, looking out there for Barnes, punched away by Monkhorst. Riccardi, Richardson, nothing happening. Free kick may go to Riccardi. Fierce tackle there by Graham Wright, unfair according to the umpire, and he gets it away to Wills. Wills with the left foot, kicks it close to the centre. Monkhorst can't take the mark. Garrison, ineffective. Barnes over the top. Hickley's going to get run down. Houlihan, good tackle. Caught with the ball. And he's being penalised. Well done. Free kick to Houlihan. Move it quickly, son. We're not at Coro or Rutherglen now. We're in the middle of the MCG. Short kick finds Tony Shaw. Can go wide. He does. McCartney. In turn goes to Fraser. Loves to run. Fraser short. Oh, a little too short, but a good mark taken by Rowe in front of Brown. Brown, who spent much of the afternoon on the interchange bench for Geelong. Brad Rowe has kicked one. Brad Rowe, lovely long kick to the square, it's helped over for a rush behind to the Magpies and that now totals about eight of those in that scoreline of 13-16, they trail by 17 points, Geelong 16-15. Well it's been a game of really two halves, Geelong 87 points in the first half, although the game is not over yet, Collingwood have kicked 60 points in the second half. Wills gets it from O'Reilly at half-back. Kicked the all-important goal in this last quarter, Wills. Taking some time. Gives that a hook. Should stay in play. Colbert goes with Rowe. Punched away out of play. Yes, it's half-time. Collingwood's kicked nine goals, six. And Geelong has added three goals, six. 
17 points, time ticking away. Collingwood need a goal in the next two or three minutes to really put the pressure on. Gary Hocking tripped, free kick. He was outstanding Hocking in the first half. To nine kicks and 13 handballs. Up to centre wing, that too. That ball held up then too. It did with the breeze. It's exactly what I thought, Don. You took the words right out of my mouth. McGuire. Tune, goes it? wide, Wright's got the football on centre wing, goes in short Monkhorst has taken the mark at right half forward, too far out to score for the big Ruckman he kicks in towards centre half forward at the back, Rocker couldn't take the mark, taken away by Brewer away go the Cats, they've got the numbers now, handball, Barnes well done by young Johnny Hassel Barnes gets into the action again Underneath that is Couch, it's a good the play umpire there. was forced to bounce. Some good play, Hassel for stripping Barnes of the ball in Barnes' second effort and then trying to get it on. Gee, Geelong looked dangerous when they broke from centre-half back. But Barnes not able to collect the football at half-forward. He now does the ruck work. Monkhorst, Gary Hocking read it well. Handball goes towards full-forward. Hassel gets it to Perth. Pert controls it pretty well to Kerrison. Kerrison at half back. Takes a chance and a bounce. Then goes up towards centre wing. Front spot, to, well at the back was Brown. In front was Mansfield. Bradley playing away with a bounce. Then brings it back inside the centre half forward. Houlihan forced out of position. Dumped away by uh, O'Reilly. Now wheels over the top. Rowe, Tony Shaw has been terrific. Paul Williams gets a handle out clever. Now Rock is up. Monster kick, he goes short. Setting himself Kelly. Still Kelly. Round the body by Kelly to fall forward. And Houlihan and Darcy force it over the line. Collingwood peppering away. And the Geelong's backs are very disciplined. When they're caught behind, they endeavour to punch it away on all occasions. Kick in goes to the far side. 50 metres from the Collingwood goal. Pickering nearly run down by Fraser. Ball spills towards the wing position. Gavin Brown well tackled by Riccardi. Shaw's got to make a contest of it with Stephen Hockey. He does just that. Play goes on. Pickering now, no. An umpire decision. Oh. Free kick will go back to Geelong. And it may be Stephen Hocking who is the recipient. Well, maybe advantage could have been paid. Unless the umpire had already blown the free kick. Well, Stephen Hocking goes in short. Mark taken by Scott. Scott still in Collingwood's forward half. Now kicks high. In towards half forward. No mark taken. Ball rebounds. Brewer, no free kick. Out of the contest when the ball hit the ground. Paid to Kerrison. Kerrison goes to right oh, half forward. Look, look at the space here. Williams should get a goal. If he doesn't, oh, hungrily. He goes for goal. He could have set it up. And he kicked it behind. The more important thing was that there were three Geelong players out, two surrounding Williams as he got that ball. Some lax marking by Geelong. 15 points is the margin. Darcy to kick it back for the Cats. Collingwood needing a goal. We've got seven and a half minutes to go. And they've got to find three goals without reply. Stephen Hocking short. Pretty good. He dropped away in the third quarter like a lot of teammates. Mansfield. Pickering in the centre. Collingwood are going to hold it up somewhere. Swings it out wide to Scott. Scott loves to run. Kelly's in pursuit. Scott goes to full forward. Abbott and Pert. Well played that time by Pert. Abbott and Pert, they run it over the line. Out of play about 45 metres from the line. And a little bit with Gary Hocking. And yeah, out of bounds of the full there. They might have come off Gary Pert's ball. Monkhorst coming off too, sorry Bruce to cut across you, Monkhorst coming off and coming on for Collingwood is Sanderson Rocker got it to right, right hand ball was magnificent to Buckley, he couldn't go all the way here, Buckley with three bounces he's a long kick we know, sweeps the handball to Williams, if it sits up it does not sit up, a bad blow, coming on Sanderson gets a lucky bounce inside now Buckley's a great kick, well he's given it a hook every time I said that today he's disappointed going for goal this is that, and I just wonder whether that was Collingwood's big chance because the clock is ticking away and they need three goals. They've got to find them quickly. Actually, it was a good move bringing Sanderson on, another running player in this uh, like the latter part of this the last quarter. 
Mansfield with the football in the right back pocket for Geelong. Kicks high outside 50 metres. And a good mark taken by Kenny Hinkley. Sweeps the handball into the centre. Good Brewer. Shepherd. Good take. Good Shepherd. Kick towards full forward. Adler goes back after it. Hassel, well done. Gary Pert gets the handball back near the centre. Gavin Brown made a good contest. Get rid of it quickly. Mickey McGuan tries to tap it on. No one home. Oh. It was nearly a throw by Scott. Ball finishes with Colbert. He looks cool under pressure. The ball spills for Hassel. Can go down the ground. Kicks it close to the wing. Gatherers by Williams. Ridden into the ground by Stephen Hocking. Good work by Stephen Hocking. Oh, well done, Hocking. Williams hasn't got the football. Oh. And he must get the free kick, even though I agree with you, Don, Stephen Hocking was excellent. But it was a free kick in the finish to win. Well, they've certainly slipped at the players in the last quarter. They're going in fourth gear. Fraser, the official attendance, 52,342 to 4-4. Four four. Big fly was from Rowe. Mansfield tries to break the Sanderson tackle. Still pressure here. O'Reilly scoops it back to Barnes. Went one way, then the other. Here's a chance for the catch. Pickering's got hold of it. He's got a panic. It's starting to get dark here at the MCG. Into the centre square. It fell into Mitch's hands. Goes short and wide to Hocking. And Hocking, with a bit of experience, is going to go back and size it up. Hamlet leaves the goal square open. Hocking goes short to Couch. Kerrison's onto him. Shaw's got hold of it. To Kerrison. A couple of premiership players get together. Kerrison sweeps it out to McGuan. A big play here for both sides. It's Pickering and Riccardi. McGuan's in there. Brewer can't get it out. Desperation footy. Kerrison as Don said, they're going up and down in the one spot. Shaw finds something to Brown. Brown's away with a bounce. He's about 90 metres from goal. Hurl a hand with a big fly. And at the back, it was Darcy who took the mark. Well done, Tim Darcy. Not rattled. Short kick, centre oh, half back. Taken by Colbert. He can run down the ground. And by the time he kicks it, Geelong will be into attack. Out towards half forward. And the mark is taken by Minch. Minch can hold it up. Ablett's by himself. Goes into the square. Lovely kick by Minch. Oh, what a mark! No, he's played it! Well, I don't know whether he should have played it. I'd have to have another look at he's this. He's hurt himself too. But the he's leap, hurt himself. The leap was sensational. You wouldn't have seen oh. a better leap. Oh, let's hope he's all right. Didn't move, you know, for about uh, 20 seconds there. Did not move an inch. Oh. Well, he'll be all right, I think. Give him time and he'll regain his footing. But this leap is just absolutely unbelievable. Watch this. Oh. Now, I don't agree that that's a mark. There, that was a mark. He controlled it and he just hit the ground and bounced out as he hit the ground. That was sensational. Gee, it is a line ball, Robbo. It's, it, oh. it's a dead Look, set for the line betterment ball, of the it? game, for the betterment of the game, I, I agree with it. But, Bruce, it's a dry day. And you have to take a mark. Do you think he controlled it on the no, way out? No. Well, he's on one leg. If it is a mark, it's got to be one of the great marks of all it time. It is unbelievable. Have a look at this again. There he is. He goes up. He takes it as he turns, and then keeps it into his body as he goes down. And as he hit the ground, it's spilled out. It's a very good argument, Robbo. One way or the other. And I'm not sitting on the fence. You couldn't take it away from him. He's just an absolute superstar, isn't he? He must drag 15,000 people into a football ground just to watch him play, watch him do something like that. It's one of the greatest advertisements the game's ever had, no doubt. What's he kicked, Robbo? Five. Five goals, one. And wouldn't it be an injustice if he missed this? as though he may have hurt his ankle, Don, the way he's hobbling oh, around. I think he hurt everything as he came everything. down. He landed plumb on his back. Well, he was close he really to the doorway of heaven, I think, when he took the ball. Well, not surprising, I guess, he missed. That's where they say he lives, Robbo. In heaven. Well, I think he was saying hello, but he's got a few more years to entertain us down here at the moment, and Gary Takes the ball away from the goal. Now, Pert realising the situation that Ablett couldn't chase and took advantage of it. Minch shows a bit of courage. The ball collected by Pickering. He kicks it back towards full forward, but he's in there again having another go. And it spills for Gary Hocking. And it's all over Maggie's.
street and good evening in front of 52,000 people at the MCG. Geelong held off a second half fight back from Collingwood before scoring a 28 point win. The Cats opened up an unbeatable lead in the first quarter but Collingwood never gave in. Gary Ablett booted five before leaving the ground injured and could miss a week. It was a fight up Geelong that took on the Magpies. In a matter of 15 minutes, they had five goals on the board, although Scott made his opportunity look difficult. McGrath showed great strength to burst through the pack as the Cats built a 44-point lead. Collingwood's first goal came early in the second term from McCartney. Houlihan then followed as the Magpies attempted to rally. But the Cats were too classy. A brilliant handball from Riccardi was capped off by Couch. Collingwood was down but not out. A third quarter revival was set off by Williams. In direct contrast to the first half, the Magpies were doing all the running as they cut their deficit by more than half. Williams! What a kick by Paul Williams! On his senior debut, Houlihan produced the unbelievable. Plain snap early in the last quarter made the difference 19 points, but with time running out, Ablett thrilled every supporter. The game was Geelong's when Hocking kicked two in as many minutes. When the Cats left the MCG a short time ago, the scenes resembled a grand final victory. And although suffering a bad back injury, Ablett still remembered Mother's Day.